So in choosing these passages from Fonke Tien's 1968 novel, Spiral, Ready to Burst, I took as my point of departure the idea that's put forward by the living and the dead ensemble, the idea that it's crucial to explore what they call the different possible methods of telling the history and the present from a Caribbean perspective. So I published a book in 2010, Haiti Unbound, A Spiralist Challenge to the Postcolonial Canon. And the premise of that book was the idea that spiralism was and remains a vital Caribbean epistemology, an idiosyncratically Haitian way of seeing and presenting and being in the world, past and present, that has provided a crucial portal through which to understand Haiti's reality in the wake and in the context of global modernity. I think Fonk Etienne's work in particular has been instrumental in advancing conversations that center Haiti in thinking about our world. In Ready to Burst in particular, he lays out the tenets of spiralism. He makes clear that he understands spiralism as an aesthetic and a philosophical terrain from which to tell stories that are at once deeply intimate and generously universal. The spiral, as he describes and deploys it, allows for an appreciation of the movement of history as repetition with a difference. The ways in which the past resurges into the present is accounted for by the spiral forms overlapping arcs and by the centrifugal and centripetal forces that enable it to hold its shape without collapsing into chaos. For me personally, as a scholar and a human being in the world, spiralism is helpful to appreciating the extent to which Haiti continues to suffer from the relentless onslaught of post-colonial imperialism, from the predatory practices of a rapacious state bleeding dry, a brutalized nation. Spiralism has helped me to put words to the despicable intersections of so-called natural disaster and the insulting, greedy indifference of global racial capitalism. The words Fonk Etienne put to paper in the explosive year 1968, his attention to the specific marvels of the Haitian landscape, to the extraordinary undefeat of the Haitian people, and to the immense power of language to create whirlwinds of alternative possibilities. I find these words to be as resonant and as useful in this moment as they were when he first wrote them over half a century ago. Because in this fundamental work of spiralism, ready to burst, what we read, what we can hear in Fonk Etienne's enchanting poetic voice is an acknowledgement of despair, of rage, and of profound sadness, certainly. But what we also get from Fonk Etienne's work is an insistent willingness to believe that the difference, however slight, that the spiral contains and allows is sufficiently capacious space within which to imagine and to create new worlds. <laughs> 